to review our mental health legislation, but many people fear that the carcass will be outdated, uh, partly in the way that it actually treats people who use the services, but partly in the criteria by which people can be detained. So, um, government very recently set up a, um, a review under the chairmanship of Sir Simon Wesley, who's the immediate past president of the Royal College of Psychiatrists here, and I'm one of the vice chairs. And I think we're just we're going to look, we're going to try and talk to all the various interested parties. And the thing about um, about reviewing the mental health legislation, or indeed reviewing any legislation, is that you really need to talk to anybody who's affected. That's whether they use the legislation in this case for treating or detaining people, compulsory treatment, for instance, or whether they are people who use the services and have felt. Uh, battered by the way that the legislation is framed, or indeed by the way the legislation is interpreted. So, Doesn't it boil down to a question of money? Uh, mental health has had a higher profile recently, but it hasn't been accompanied by a, an injection of funding it, services. It hasn't that. been injected, but it hasn't had a great injection of cash. Of course cash would make a difference, and there's no question about that. And that would make ca cash would make a difference whether you're talking about, if you like, the medical side or the social care side, and particularly support for people who've been detained under mental health legislation and then come out and then find themselves homeless or whatever. Of course cash would make a difference. But no, it's not all about that. It's also about the degree to which you can compulsorily force people to have treatment. And indeed, what rights do they have to say, oh, hang on a minute, I really don't want this. It makes me feel truly terrible or whatever. It's quite complicated because it's balancing people's individual rights against what society feels is appropriate. And it's danger, both danger to oneself and danger to others. Uh, yeah. I wish we could go on there, but maybe we'll go to the news point. Let's start this.